and everyone is talking about it. And for XQC, this is truly one of the best contracts he could have possibly dreamed of. A two year, $100 million deal with. What the f? This nigga got a hundred million! All content creators can earn a respectable $16 per hour of streaming, which after a. Nigga. $16 an hour, nigga, you damn near working a job. That is f W. Y'all gotta see this shit, like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I really look homeless. Y'all seen J. Cole go through his phase and shit, like, I'm damn near him. I got bow hair all in my motherfucking chin. God damn! Let me show y'all a trick. When you got long hair and your hairline fucked up, blur this trick from the DMV, you know what I'm saying? Dude, what you do right here. So you gotta throw that thing on. Throw it back like a night, like a night, like a night cap. Nigga gonna think you got a do-rag on, but it's like, <laughs> nah, nigga, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Y'all right, already know about the title, bro. I gotta be deciding what I'm about to do. I can see myself really streaming. Like, I can really, 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 really see myself streaming. So, we're gonna go through all the pros and cons, bro, of the streaming shit. From kick and motherfucking Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Because, damn, it's crazy. They made them bitches sound the same. Twitch, kick. Yeah, I'm a little slow. I don't know. But look, though. So I'm gonna need y'all, I'm gonna need y'all help. I'm gonna need y'all to comment, you know what I'm saying, what y'all think I should do. That's all I want y'all to do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have to do a whole lot. All y'all niggas gotta do is comment and tell me what y'all think I should do. From everything that we about to go through, what route you think is the best? Y'all better watch. It's a vlog channel. I can't just sit up here and just talk to y'all the whole time. So y'all gotta see what I'm doing today. You know, do y'all niggas laundry, bro. None of y'all niggas is dirty. So if you're in a dog pal, nigga, you clean your ass every day. Shit. I was looking on, I was looking on TikTok and shit. I kept seeing these weird ass things, bro. I kept seeing shit they was saying. Damn, I got dark. I got black as hell. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. I kept, I kept seeing these weird ass things, bro. I kept talking about some niggas don't know how to clean their ass. Like, some niggas just let the water run through their asshole. I'm like, oh what God. is the who oh, niggas? Who is these niggas? They not the fuck, these man. Man. Yeah, them niggas say, them niggas say they don't even wash their asshole because they feel like it's gay. I'm like, oh, hell nah. Y'all taking this shit to a different level. And uh, I'm saying, but nah, bro, I don't know why they said that shit. I was so confused, bro. Like, right, bro, you're a nigga, bro. Wash your fucking ass. They try to, they try to, they try to generalize everybody. They try to put everybody in a group. Fuck no, I'm not in that group. Y'all need to stop fucking playing with me, nigga. I clean my ass. Y'all need to speak for yourself. This is what they try to do, though. They try to set you up. This is how they set you up. They like, do you clean your ass? But then they try to make you seem so gay. Like, they be like, do you spread your ass cheeks and clean your ass? It's like, you don't want to say that, but you do though. Like, that's how you clean your ass. If you don't clean your ass like that, then nigga, like you is a sneaky nigga. Your drawers got doodle stains all in them. I bet your mother used to hate doing your laundry when you was younger. Like, that shit is so bad, bro. Hell nah. I'm not gonna lie, no, no homo. You gotta spread your cheeks so you can clean your ass, bro. No homo, bro. You gotta say, I do, you gotta take the proper precautions. Yo, my vocabulary is getting better, nigga. <laughs> Proper perk, per, the the proper. Yeah, nigga, you heard what I said first. Nigga, run that shit back. <laughs> All my niggas, bro. When you get to the age, when you really start fucking, bro. You don't want to have doodle stains in them drawers, bro. I promise you. Bro. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. I'm gonna tell y'all a story before we before we fully get into this video. Crank that bitch up right there. Hey, hey. I, it might be loud. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I had this little this little badge on, right? She bad as shit. You know what I'm saying? We getting undressed and shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Getting all dressed and shit. Tell me why she dropped her panties. <laughs> bro, she dropped her panties, bro. I seen doodle -doo stains in her drop. Like, bro, bro, when I tell you bad. she was oh. bad and shit, like, she really looked good. Like, you get what I'm saying? So I was like, it caught me off guard. I was so lost. Like, I was really so lost. I definitely still fuck. I lie, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, I definitely man, still man. fuck. I don't know. Never again, I would never do no dumb ass shit like that. And it, it wasn't boof boof. It wasn't boofing boofing, but it was like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We gonna finish this little Twitch conversation. We gonna, we gotta talk anyway. I really need to hear y'all opinion about this shit. I really wanna know if y'all really, you know what I'm saying, think I should go to kick or Twitch. Bro. So, everybody made videos about this shit already. I'm not even about to stress myself out and trying to um do my own research. So, we about to um just search this shit up on YouTube. 
and um see which ones which ones is better bro this this is the chart that everybody everybody needs to see right here bro look at this shit look at the difference bro look so right here 200 200 subs on, on twitch i'm only getting 500 dollars. if i get 200 subs on kick i'm getting 950 you know what i'm saying it's just it's just a lot more like you know you gotta you have to do those you have to do those things like everybody says it's not about money all the time that is very true it's not about money but at the same time you want to go to somewhere where they're offering, you know what I'm saying? It's like they cater towards you more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, they could, if they're going to cater towards me more and I have a decision to choose which one is better, then it's not just Twitch no more. You got a new platform named Kick and it's coming out. I'm going to go with something that's going to, you know what I'm saying? That's, that it, it makes me feel more at home. Why wow, Kick will change the internet forever. Let me see. Kick is taking over right now. And trust me when I say it, this could be one of the worst things that's ever happened in internet history. Now, let me explain. When XQC partnered up with Kick, this marked one of the most transformative moments in social media. Big tech companies are finally being competed against with new, strong, freedom of speech first sites. While Rumble takes off in the background, Kick is one of the main sites, slicing into big tech's control of the internet. In particular, Kick is challenging the dominance of Twitch, one Damn. of the worst sites for freedom of speech. Because you see, XQC's move to Kick was not just a simple platform switch, this is a seismic event in the streaming world, and everyone is talking about it. And for XQC, this is truly one of the best contracts he could have possibly dreamed of. A two year, $100 million deal with- What the fuck? That nigga got a hundred million! Nah. Nah. That nigga got a hundred mil! For two years, nigga! Aya! Kick, a contract that's not even exclusive, all whilst providing XQC the 12th quote largest sports contract ever signed. And at the same time, this is allowing Kick to take over the internet. Mm. Because what is far more crazy than this contract is what this contract means for social media. As this is caused for the first time in Kick's history, the just chatting section, a popular category where streamers interact with their audience, to now have more viewers than Twitch's equivalent. Attributed to the recent term, the Aiden Ross and XQC effect. I mean, XQC's debut on Kick alone led to a huge surge in traffic that led to 50 times the usual level of engagement on Kick's site, causing Damn. stability issues and even causing the site to crash temporarily. And it mm. wasn't just XQC that jumped ship either. Other prominent streamers have also followed suit. Amaranth, another popular streamer, announced her move to Kick just days after XQC's announcement, and her debut on Kick attracted over 11,000 viewers. And it's bro, also suggested bro, that she got announcement. Mil, bro. Bro. What the fuck? These niggas are signing them up. They signing up NBA contracts. To be a fucking Twitch streamer, nigga, I'm getting on this shit. You her debut on Kick attracted over 11,000 views. I might not get and signed. And it's also suggested it. that she too might be operating under a non-exclusive deal with Kick, something mm. similar to XQC's agreement. And it's not just her. There are countless other rumored moves, including even Asmund Gold. A lot of people ask me about if I'm gonna go uh, to another platform. People ask this all of the time. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Well, one of the craziest things of all of this is that Mr. Beast, the biggest social media star in history, is now also hitting at the possibility of doing a stream on Kick. In wow. fact, Mr. Beast's increased engagement with Kick's social media posts is now actually sparking rumors about a potential collaboration or involvement between the two. With his responses to tweets from Kick, have suggested a level of interest in the platform against his competition, Twitch. A speculation that's been further fueled by Kick's recent announcement that six big names, current undisclosed and now set to join their platform, prompting mm. everyone online to think that Mr. Beast may be one of them. But let's slow down for a second. Why is all of this happening seemingly out of nowhere? What's actually going on here? Why is everyone jumping ship from Twitch? And why is this possible? Hey, hey, uh, W video, by the way. W video, by the way. One of the worst things in internet history. Well, there's so much to unpack here, and no one's been speaking about the other side of what this means for all of us. So to understand shit. why I think this is going to be one of the worst things for social media and in turn society, we need to see why Kick will destroy Twitch in the next few years. And mm. to understand this, we need to see why XQC actually moved to Kick. Now, for those who don't know who XQC is, he is the biggest streamer in the world, and his uh. move from Twitch to Kick was a huge loss for Twitch. And in a recent video, he described exactly why he did this. Damn. Now, aside from the obvious reason here there were some other interesting signs of something much larger I happening say, shit shit if a nigga was giving me a hundred a hundred million for two years shit i'm going over that shit what the exact fuck world in the video explaining the move he discussed the need for healthy competition and collaboration in the streaming space lack in in, in competition and i feel like uh guys i'm just something that i haven't said in a long time okay and it's it's pretty insane i think this probability has been suffering and i feel like not having options for people that do uh, just no competition it seems like 
We haven't seen a lot. We haven't seen a lot of people. Hold on, this bitch has. I mean, not bitch has, nigga. I'm sorry. This nigga talk fast as shit. Do y'all understand what he's Blow saying? Come out of the woodwork and just be able to discover uh, themselves. People discover them. Just Twitter, with, just with right. basic Twitch discoverability. Claiming that Twitch needs competition and that they're not taking care of their creators. Something that he's personally been affected by after being banned three times on Twitch. And this guy's one of the most vanilla creators out there. Twitch is notorious for being one of the most censoring, anti-free speech sites the internet has ever seen. Exactly. And that's why one of the main points he discussed in the video is the potential bottleneck caused by having only one dominant player in a platform, as Twitch has a monopoly on streaming as a whole, as XQC stressed the importance of being able to explore other options mm. and push away from the control that Twitch has online. And I mean, he's not wrong here. Twitch is the most authoritarian social media site out there, with the site banning watch just simp, incel, and virgin, along with introducing misinformation standards that can penalize users propagating quote false information that goes against mainstream narratives to twitch and a lot of this stems from twitch moderation system i mean in 2020 tw Twitch is trying to control motherfuckers. Twitch instituted a safety advisory council tasked with formulating new policies, promoting responsible streaming habits, and safeguarding marginalized groups. However, controversy was sparked with the appointment of Steph Lower to the council. Now, there was controversy surrounding this, given her remarks like, I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Just a fact. And her personal identification as deer gender, a term she used to describe her identification with a deer. Further fuel was then added to the controversy when Lower was seen behaving like a deer on stream, which many users were quite honestly disgusted by. But this wasn't the main problem here. The problem was with her ability to shape Twitch's terms of service and impose permanent bans on stream. You can build Nigga, a million dollar oh my business. God. I don't Fucking need money ads. or anyone Your else. Your head bald and shit, that suit big as shit no on investors. you. This no fucking 2023, no nigga, you got a you big ass suit. That suit damn that touch your kneecaps. Streamers. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me. And she would use her powers with glee, creating one of the biggest echo chambers that we see today with Twitch, stifling any creators that went against the status quo on the site. And it was the stifling of creators with diverging opinions by Twitch that eventually led to the biggest, most vanilla jellyfish creators being suspended on the site. People like XQC, one of the most bland, uncontroversial people that has risen to the top of the platform. However, this doesn't stop with just Twitch censorship, as importantly, Mr. Beast fired shots at Twitch on Twitter for its terrible support towards the financial growth of its creators. Mm. As he claimed that Twitch should instead focus on fostering creators' earnings potential rather than capping it. Damn. And in stark contrast, Kick has been making ways by luring content creators with its enticing revenue split mm. and non exclusivity contracts. Providing a revenue model where out of the 100% of total earnings, 95% of this goes towards the streamer, with only 5% going to the platform. A highly competitive rate that has actually prompted Twitch to introduce a 70 30 revenue split model for some creators, but today it still stands at 50 50. Mm. But it doesn't stop there. Kick is also the first platform to offer hourly pay to all streamers, provided Damn. that they meet certain conditions. These include active streaming for at least 4 hours a day, for 30 days a month, staying awake during the stream, keeping a webcam focus on their face, and being of legal age. And if you meet these conditions, all content creators can earn a respectable $16 per hour of streaming, which after a- Nigga. $16 an hour, nigga, you damn near working a job! That is fucking W- Oh my god, oh my god, a king, what the fuck? God damn! Day of streaming, including work sleep, again? this adds up to a substantial amount of money. In addition, Kick doesn't censor people for bogus reasons. There aren't power mods pushing a narrative. There is no political echo chamber ruining Kick, like there is with Twitch. But all of this does beg the question, how on earth is Kick able to afford any of this? 100 million contract there, 95 five revenue splits, hourly wages, rampant marketing, and endless new contracts with the world's biggest streamers. Yeah. All of this competing against Jeff Bezos' Twitch, that has all the funds of Amazon. And oh. all Twitch is Jeff Bezos shit. I ain't the never The corporate that. silicon backing that you could dream of. How on earth is Kick doing all of this? Yeah, and what that. is the future gonna look like between Twitch and Kick? Well, you see, this is where things take a much darker turn. Here's why. Damn, you see, Kick was founded. W fucking video, my nigga. He, he did his thing on this than a year ago, on December 1st, 2022. And the entire goal of the site was to defeat Twitch once and for all through mm. looser moderation policies and high revenue shares for streamers. At least that's what the founders of Kick wanted people to believe. However, these co founders weren't your typical Silicon Valley startup founders. They were Bijan Tehrani and Ed Craven, also known as the co founders of Stake.com, a crypto casino company operating out of Australia. Now, the company's history is very shady, and this video would be way too long if I went into all the details, but they've been 
been in a bunch of controversies for using celebrity endorsements and sponsorships to promote gambling, forming partnerships with Twitch streamers, celebrities, and major corporations such as the UFC. And the founders are known online for posting videos of themselves gambling on the platform, which raised some questions in the past about the legality of the company's actual operations, given that online casinos are prohibited in Australia. And the people funding stake? Saudi Arabian oil lords, who could potentially influence the company's strategies and decision making, as these investors may have specific interests or political goals related to the live streaming and entertainment industry. They want to gain money and power rather than just making money from the site alone. And that's where the concept of lifetime value of a customer is introduced. Now this refers to the amount of money a customer is likely to spend over the lifetime of interacting with a product or service. And because Kick is so affiliated with gambling, this is where they will dip people for a lifetime, all while sucking their money away. In addition, State.com's use of cryptocurrency has made people skeptical of the company, as the company's use of digital currencies makes it universally accessible around the world and evasive from any central government regulation, which is a very dangerous thing when it comes to gambling. Because with these factors combined, State.com creates a false sense of winning and losing, as by using cryptocurrencies, we'll often lose large amounts of money in a matter of minutes, only to recoup it back with a jackpot moments later, straight into your Bitcoin wallet. And this dynamic was perfectly exemplified by Trainwax TV, a streamer who had over 2 million followers on Twitch, and who became infamous for his gambling streams, where he waged away millions of dollars. Keep going! No! Oh, no. no. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, my god. Oh, god. Oh, oh my god! And more importantly, Trainwrecks TV, along with many other streamers, was sponsored by Stake.com to play on their site, creating a surge in the slots category on Twitch, driven by these sponsored gambling streams, primarily by Stake.com. And bear in mind, anyone could watch them. Children, teenagers, adults, anyone could just go online and watch their favorite influencers gamble their money away. And more importantly, during these 20 to 40 hour streams, Trainwrecks TV would mostly play slots using a large amount of money, where there was absolutely no control in your chances of winning. And over the course of these streams, it was reported that he wagered over $1 billion in gambling. And yet what? despite all of his losses, he was able to always continue to stream because of his contract with Stake.com, in addition to his 40 million and 22.5 million large jackpots. And yet even with these high jackpots, he was always down at least a few million dollars. And yet he was always able to continue gambling because he was being paid by the gambling site that he was losing this money too. Which brings up questions. Stake.com was actually manipulating the games that he was playing, all while funding all of his gambling and paying him extra to do it, all while promoting gambling to a huge audience around the world. But it wasn't just people like Trainworks TV, it's gone way bigger than this. State.com is particularly famous for its collaboration with Drake, who is constantly showing his big bets on boxing matches and football matches, reaching hundreds of millions of people around the world, using Drake's brand to promote gambling to anyone in his audience. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! <gasps> yes! Damn, this shit deeper than what I thought it was. So with this- it's no surprise where they created Kick, the perfect platform to get all of these influencers and streamers to subtly support Stake.com. Instead of actually directly promoting these people on Twitch or celebrities on Instagram, they could just create a whole community, an entire social media site for everyone to do their own bidding. And that's why it's no coincidence that Drake was actually one of the first people to do a live stream on Kick, in addition to Trainwrex TV, which came just at the perfect timing as he was banned from Twitch. These are those rhombohedron on, crystals on, in your pineal this is gland. Crazy. When those crystals become this is electric, crazy. Twitch for gambling during these streams. And then with some huge contracts of tens of millions of dollars, new streamers piled in. People like Aiden Ross and Bruce drop him off. In fact, it's claimed that Aiden Ross's contract could have been above a hundred million dollars. And then what of the course fuck? we're here today. And with Aiden Ross moving to kick, the site has massively grown since. And whilst this might not seem crazy, people like Destiny would then jump on board. And in some cases gaining Damn. more views on kick than he did on YouTube. And now with the the recent flurry of streamers heading towards the site, this process is only being catalyzed further and further. And as Kick gains more popularity, this means that Stake is able to promote gambling to an even greater audience. Damn. And if they do eventually get to Twitch's size, they will have unparalleled influence compared to any other gambling site in the world, Damn. with the ability to use the internet's most beloved influencers to promote gambling to anyone and everyone, which will only continue to fund Kick's dominance. And yet at the same time, Twitch's financial stability is uncertain. Despite reporting $2.8 billion in revenue in 2022, it's unclear how much of this was actually profit. The platform's main sources of income are subscribers, in-app purchases, partnerships with brands, sponsorships, and advertising. However, Twitch users are becoming frustrated with the high number of non-skippable ads, leading to a huge decrease in hours watched and average viewers. Ads! So many ads! Oh my god, why so many ads? 
I got 14 ads. What the fuck? 14 30 ads? seconds. What is going on? I seconds. can't see ads. 14 fucking ads. How is this allowed? 14 <laughs> ads, 30 seconds each. What is going on? And as Twitch continues to ban these big streamers, like the recently banned popular streamer Kai, who quickly became one of the most subscribed creators on the platform, this is only making people more resentful towards the site. Yeah. And because their financial future is getting shaky, Twitch's CEO is reducing any creator's 70-30 splits back down to 50-50 splits, no matter how big their influence is. All while YouTube gaming in their live stream sector is also digging into Twitch, with YouTube alone holding nearly 15% of the market share in the live streaming space. And yet even though they're smaller than Twitch, they generated 20 billion dollars last year in Damn. revenue, offering a 70-30 split for streamers, all while providing a whole YouTube channel for these streamers to post regularly, allowing them to earn even more revenue. And things only became so much worse when Twitch announced one of the worst policies imaginable, a policy that would have potentially driven away the majority of its streamers. Now this policy involves sponsored and branded content, limiting branded overlays to 3% of a stream and prohibiting audio ads during streams, due to the audience pushback against ads and streams. However, this caused concern among streamers as the majority of their revenue comes from sponsorships and partnerships with other brands. How the fuck you gonna tell a nigga he can't even do a sponsorship? Brands, all while also decimating esport organizations that rely on Twitch for advertising revenue and sponsorships to survive, showcasing more of Twitch's greedy decision making that is driving away the streamers and users from the platform. Now the reason they likely did this was to push all streamers to use Twitch for sponsorships so that the company could get a cut of their income. However, streamers what? like XQC were outraged by this policy change, a change that was attempting to force them to comply with Twitch's insensitive program what? to take even more of their money, making a huge chunk of streamers people. actually move to kick. And this policy change went viral on the internet, with people like Moist Critical gaining over 6 million views on the topic alone. The wow. title's not clickbait, there was a new policy on Twitch that was announced today that will legitimately destroy the platform with the majority of streamers choosing to go elsewhere if it goes into effect. And even Mr. Beast came out on Twitter, completely denouncing Twitch's new- Hey, Twitch is about to policy change. Eventually after enough pushback online, Twitch did reverse their policy change. Okay. However, this brought up many questions for streamers about their long-term future on the Twitch platform. Mm. And with Kick offering out these huge new contracts, along with these crazy revenue splits, it seemed like Kick was the way to go. The future of- Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, y'all, we going to Kick, my nigga. Fuck all the extra shit. Hey, who do you got? Finish watching them. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look, y'all. Who do you got? Hey, look. Hey, look. Who do you got? Finish watching that motherfucker. Y'all already know what we about to do. We going to Kick. Yeah, we gonna kick. Yeah, we gonna kick. Yeah, nigga. All right, well, this what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get to work. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna um, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I get all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pack it up, cause I was at Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I was on Twitch. You know, I probably streamed like probably three times, three four times, nigga. And them three four times, some good ass times. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. I'm going to Twitch. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. No restrictions, nigga. Nigga, Twitch. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Twitch is like you living at your mother's house. Kick is like, nigga, you living at your own. Oh, <laughs> this shit is amazing. Oh, my God. They getting you plus big ass deals and shit. I know they ain't gonna give me a deal because I ain't no big ass, big ass, huge entertainer. But at the same time, nigga, they fuck around with me a deal, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna go with Twitch. Or I mean, I'm gonna go with Kick on this one. I feel like uh, 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 I feel like Kick is a very good platform. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn. I think we just we just, we gonna start off with uh, Kick. I ain't gonna lie, I don't have no PC. I don't have no big shit, y'all. I don't have all these different things. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't have all these different things. But I'm gonna be able to get all these different things. Um, later on, right now we'll just be streaming off my MacBook. I'm trying to make sure I can um. I'm trying to make sure, like, when I stream and shit, that it, it can't, like, it, like, the quality and everything doesn't go down and be fucking up my shit. Like, I, it be glitching and shit on Twitch. I don't know. I haven't been on Kick. Shit, it might not glitch on um, Kick, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna see. Um, and yeah, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video, bro. We go, we gonna end this video off on a good high, high note, y'all. High note, high note. We ain't even gonna stress this shit out, you know what I'm saying? I was stressing out. I was stressing my decision out because I didn't really know, like, I didn't. I don't really know a lot about the Twitch and the streaming shit. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I, re I really can get on this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can really do this. Um, shit, I got on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I got on Instagram and I got on YouTube. Man. I did all these different platforms. So I feel like 
this another platform I could take over, and you know what I'm saying. And I want y'all to come with me on this journey. You know what I'm saying? Cause that now I, I always want to find a way to for me to be able to get more connected with y'all niggas. Like you know what I'm saying? So y'all can really see me. Y'all can um you know what I'm saying? Y'all can be able to like talk. I can read the chat. All these different things. I remember I used to do Zoom calls and shit. Like I used to try to do everything to be able to be with y'all and be able to see y'all. So the fact that I'm gonna be able to do this shit. I feel like this is this is a good step in the right direction right here. You know what I'm saying? Off off my Jeff Bezos shit. <laughs> this is a good step. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In 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 a in a perfect direction. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna do this. Uh, I love every single one of y'all niggas, man. We gonna see y'all in the next video, bro. Everybody in the dog pound, bro. Y'all niggas stay sturdy, nigga. Y'all niggas stay straight, man. If a nigga play with y'all, y'all let me know, nigga. I carry the ass from the gram and all that shit. I don't need y'all give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever let a nigga play with y'all. Nigga, we ain't going for that. Get me. But nah, make sure y'all like, comment down below, and subscribe. Now. Nigga, subscribe, nigga. I'm gonna make me a, I'm gonna make me a kick. I'm probably gonna come out with an announcement about me making a kick and shit like that so y'all can see and shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? We gonna see y'all, man. Uh, you know, I'm gonna cover the camera. I like that. I think you're gonna do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Stop recording.